Hello, everybody. It is Nash here, bringing you a gear. No, this is Call of Duty World at War. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game recently. Me and my dad, E.T. Narc, have been playing Call of Duty World at War quite frequently lately. He wasn't too big of a fan of Gears of War, so whenever he's on, we are playing Call of Duty. And you might see his name pop up in the uh, kill feeds every once in a while. Most likely the death feed. His name is Ready Cav. You might see that in there quite a bit. I don't know about this match particularly, but I'm using the C4s like a boss now. I, for the past month or two, maybe two months or so, I've been perfecting the art of C4 throwing and killing, and it, I've, I've just been dominating people with it. And also, another thing I noticed about in this gameplay that was a, uh, a changer for me in my Call of Duty World War playing style was the Type 100. Now, I kind of would use it every once in a while before, but after this match, I've been using it non-stop, and I have been raging with it. I I used to use the MP40 like everybody else, and then once I came onto the YouTube community, I realized how overpowered and cheap it is to use the MP40, so I would I no longer used it, and I would mainly stick to the Thompson. Um, I like the Thompson, but the magazine clip is just too small it's got way too much recoil it's still a really good gun i can get really great games with it but after picking up this type 100 right here that has the extended mags i've just i i don't know i just love this gun now there's little recoil it's got really good accuracy a very large magazine it, it's just all around good gun uh, i know actually in world war ii it wasn't that great of a gun but it's pretty cool. I like it. Like you saw right there, I took out that guy really quick. And I got artilleries coming in and dogs, and it's going to get crazy here. That guy's, I don't know what that guy was doing, but he blew up in fire. I don't know if he was throwing something or what. I'm not sure, actually. So right here, I'm getting some kill feeds out of three, three feed right there with my puppies helping me out. And uh, I just want to ask you guys one question for any of you Mac users out there. Uh, what do you or do you know of any software programs or anything I can use to record gameplay on my Mac? I know I did a video on my Nash Tech channel a while back about using QuickTime to record your screen. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it in that video, but I probably should have. It isn't great for recording gameplays because there's just so much stuff going on in the games and it doesn't handle it that well. It's mainly just kind of like a t tutorial type of thing. But do you guys know of any programs to use on the Mac that will record gameplays? I know like on PCs they have like fraps and stuff like that. Is there anything equivalent to that on the Mac where I can record games on Steam? Like uh, if I'm playing Team Fortress on Steam. I want to be able to record those while I'm playing on OS 10, not playing on Windows. I want to be able to record those and upload these those videos to YouTube because I think Team Fortress 2 is one of the greatest multiplayer games of all time, and I just can't get videos of it. So if you guys know any of Mac programs or software that can let me record really good quality, please let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.